Yeah, you know, I think the ocean is a real mystery to man, you know. Mm -hmm. I think maybe in the next 200 years to discover more, you know, they're making better machines even go on, on the water. Yeah. Better submarines. Well, I was watching this thing the other day, really interesting thing, obviously, you know, going off topic a bit, but there was this guy that did underwater welding and he said that he's seen some things, you know, when they've been, he used to work for the Navy. Yeah. To work in the Navy and they used to get sent on these operations to do underwater building and all these kind of things, different things, very, you know, great, you know, very deep depths and, you know, mm. under a lot of pressure, you know. Um, and he said that, you know, they've all seen some things down there that, you know, people have, you know, have no idea, you know, some very strange things, you know, you know creatures that probably, you know, you know, not even been discovered yet, you know, some scary shit, you know. He said that, like, obviously they'd seen loads of stuff, like, he had a year, he, he'd been on the job for like 15, 20 years or something like this, this guy. Um, and he said, obviously, the amount of times they went out with the different crews that he went out with, they've, you know, they've seen all sorts of shit, sharks and all sorts of different things over the years. Um, but he said, like, you know, they, you know, this one time that he was out, he, you know, he encountered this thing, he said he couldn't tell if it was like a, an octopus or, or what it was, if you see what I mean, but he said it was just so huge. Mm -hmm. you see what I mean, and it started changing colour, started changing shape and started like doing all these different weird things, if you see what I mean. And he said it was absolutely, he said it was just like, it was huge, he said it just, could, all he could describe it as was just you know, this huge octopus, like gigantic, like, you know, enormous bloody thing. Um, and he said eventually this thing just kind of like swam off, if you see what I mean, like went off, if you see what I mean. Um, but he said, yeah, like, you know, that he said after that he really reconsidered like, Going back down, if you see what I mean, continuing to work as a underwater builder. You know, he said obviously it is, you know, they get paid a lot of money because you know it's a lot of risk that comes along with that type of job and etc. You know, um, you know, but he said after that experience, he really reconsidered. You know, <laughs> whether or not he should go back under the water. You know, he said that he said he's seen all sorts of shit up until that point, all sorts of strange things here and there, sharks, all sorts of shit. But he said that one experience was the one that, you know, made him really, you know. <laughs> I leave the ocean to everyone else, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it is quite scary when you think about it, really, like, you know. I used to love the, the, I used to love the sea as a kid and swim. Like, I used to swim like, like a fish when I was a kid. But when I really look back and reflect on it, I think to myself, like, what, like, I used to be, I used to be out swimming around like nothing, like, you know, like nothing's going on, like, you know. Like, you know, like, you know. Mm. And obviously, the, where I used to swim and stuff, generally, yeah, it was quite safe, don't get me wrong, but you just never know. Sometimes you get a like, you might get a stingray, or you might get, you know, you, what, what, you know, what, you know, something like that, you know, get, you know. I'm alright, I don't mind the ocean as long as I'm on a boat, you know what I mean? Yeah, not actually, I'm, not actually in it. I can swim alright, but yeah. honestly, I, I, I don't really like the ocean, do you know what I mean? You know, yeah. um, I, I think it's one thing. Man fears in a kind of way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. really doesn't understand too much. You know I mean? Yeah, the, the ocean. Yeah. yeah. You know, even a, I think a, a top class skipper. You know, a, a, you know that knows how to travel. You know, um, sail a boat or whatever. Fears the ocean. In yeah. A way, you know, it's mm. a mystery, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Mm. You know, I don't think anyone. I mean, we we are starting to understand it a little bit more, you know, especially with all, all this technology, camera technology, you know. Yeah. You watch on YouTube, you know. Yeah. I watch some movies with um, these people going underneath and all that, you know, and it's kind of like, again, you're experiencing it. Yeah. You know, you get these divers that go go down and they're filming all of these beautiful fish. Yeah, yeah. And they're putting a bit of music to it yeah and you can hear the bubbles a bit whatever mm. but it's like being a fish almost isn't it you know you kind of experience being a fish traveling you know yeah or yeah you know not i mean i'd love to go scuba diving and all that you know what i mean but i'd rather well, i feel safer on land yeah, yeah. you know mm. and i'd rather just watch other people scuba diver you know with their cameras you know experience that way, you know, without sort of taking the risk, yeah. if you're with me. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. I mean, that's another thing, you know, some people, a lot of people take risks their life to travel, you know, they go oh, yeah. up mountains, yeah. and cliffs, and goodness, yeah. goodness knows what, and I don't think 
I like to do that. Do you know what I mean? Life's too fragile. People climbing Mount Everest and do all these type of things, you know? You know? Like you said, I'm, I'm kind of very similar to you in that aspect, mate. I must say, like, I don't believe in risking my life for no reason. No. Like, life can be dangerous enough as it is. We're all trying to survive on a daily basis. Why, why are you just, I don't believe in risking my life just for the sake of it, you know, for adrenaline or, you know, I just, I, I, you know, that you can have much, you can have very, a lot, lots of fun experiences and memories without having to do, like, extreme you know, extreme things, mm. like, you know, it's, you know. Like, travelling on a wire, you know, sort of like, um, what do you look, type, type road? Um, mm. You know, walk, walk along on a road. Oh, like a tight road. Yeah, that's yeah. It, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm talking about, you know. Mm. I would do it. Yeah. You know, and some people love doing it, you know, yeah. but I'd rather watch them do it. Mm. Well, I don't even want to watch them do it, do you know what I mean? Just get it all. It's so. like, even like these free climbers, they climb up all these buildings, all these type of stuff, no safety stuff, nothing, literally. They're cli Obviously, they're very good at climbing, I give them that. A lot of them are very good climbers. But they get to the top of these buildings, and sometimes you can see them recording themselves and taking a picture. And the wind is blowing like anything, mate. They're at the top of these buildings, and the wind is blowing like anything. And I just think, like, if he loses, if he just loses his footing, or accidentally loses his grip, or just the slightest thing that goes wrong, that is it. If you see what I mean. There's yeah. no surviving that. You're 150, 200 feet up in the air. Mm. If you see what I mean. You land, wherever you land, it's, that's it. I'm sorry, you know. The likelihood of surviving that is, you know, probably a million to one or something, you know, like it, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. You know, travel, have fun. Do you know enjoy your life, but you don't always have to do things that are extreme to, you know, to have life experiences. You can life can be you can have lots of fulfilling, adventurous experiences. You know, doing lots of traveling, lots of different places, doing lots of different things without having to put your life in danger. You know, you know. For, well, for me anyway, that's not fun. You know, you know, I like to be safe. Yeah. Every day, you know. Mm. So I've got another day to enjoy. Yeah. If you see what I mean. That's how I want to get it too, mate. Yeah, like I want to live as long as I possibly can. Mm. So I can want to yeah. travel yeah. You know, in the future more. Mm. You know, that's what I want to do. You know? yeah. I'm planning to travel more this week. You know what I mean? Go, yeah. go a few different places, you know? Mm. Um, I mean, if you think, think about it, if you stay indoors, if I stay indoors tomorrow, it's better to go out, I think, and travel than just stay in, mm. isn't it, really, when you think about it? Yeah. You know, because, like, if I stayed in all day tomorrow, and then I go to bed tomorrow, that is what I've got to remember. Yeah. This what, you know, my my home. Yeah. You know, what I've, I've had many memory memories sort of staying at home, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where if I took off somewhere completely different where I've never been before, do you know what I mean? And then I come home, I've got something else to remember now. Yeah. Something new. Yeah. You know, to put in, in my pocket forever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And that's why I think it's quite beautiful if you can sort of travel to different places, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do so. Yeah, definitely. You know? But so I want to, I'm aiming to travel more and go different places, film different pigeons, basically, you know? I quite enjoy it, you know? Yeah. I quite yeah. enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Same for me too. I want to travel more too, and not only that with my kids too. I want to do, you know, start doing some more traveling with my kids, that, you know, so they can have more memories and experiences and all these type of things too, as they grow up. You know, both my son and my daughter are both at an age where they can, they understand what's going on there. You know, then it's just. You know, how old your daughter now? Yeah. Five. What she's on it. She's switched on though, mate. She is. She is like she. Like, she's been to France, hasn't she? Yeah, many times. Yeah, a few times. She's been to France already. A few times. Yeah, a few times. No, I don't so. think she's ever gonna remember it. She's all in mind. I think she. Me. I think she will though. In all really? on, because she comes back. Even when she came back, mate, she was telling me all about what she was doing while she was in France. She said, "Daddy, I went to France. So I went to see. I went to see Grandma." Let me see grandma. Um, and she was telling me like lots of things they did when they were in France. You know, she said I met my auntie, you know, and I met my cousin. Mm. Um, and her cousin her cousin was three is three years old. Um, but they were getting along, if you see what I mean, they were playing together and she was telling me that her and her cousin um, 
and were playing together and having fun and you know um, initially she was shy but they became good friends and all this kind of thing like she at five years old mate she has this kind of like something you know um, even some, even honestly like sometimes she uses words next time she, she does it I'll try and remember what to tell you but sometimes she uses words that I think for a five year like for a five year old how do you know that word you know obviously she's heard it from me and my wife talking or something like that but like, I'm just like they listen, don't they? Like, how, do you know, how do you know that word? How are you able to even say and pronounce and understand what that word means at your age? That is well, I bet your daughter, she's, she listens to everything. Everybody. She's very shy. She can be very shy sometimes when she first meets new people. But once she knows you, she'll warm to you and she'll... She is very, very... like she's both, And even my son, you know, they're both very intelligent. They're very switched on, you know. They're really, like you said, like sponges, you know. They, you know? She was hiding from me last time, but the time before she was alright. You know. Yeah, but then yeah. after that, that, and then the last time she was coming out pretending to be the monster. Yeah. You know, having, trying to be, you know, trying to, have, you know, trying to, yeah. be, trying to be silly. You know, trying to, you know. Um, She's got a whole life ahead of her to do a lot more travelling. You know so yeah, I mean? that, that's that's the plan, mate. I wanted to be able to travel more. With you know, and then, then once, 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 a, you know, you reach a certain age. You want to leave the nest, don't you? You become independent, don't you? Yeah. And then it's up to you to travel where you want. I make your own memories. But I want to get. I want to. What I want them to have those experiences while they're young too, so that they can say that they've travelled here and they've seen different things and experienced yeah, everything. Sure. And then when they get older, they can, like you said, they can do their own travelling as well. You know. So it's um, it's lovely when so you've got a lot of money, isn't it? Mm. You know I mean, if you've got loads of money. Yeah. Yeah. You know, complete financial. Co complete financial freedom. You know that that. Would, but so I think that can put a smile on most people's faces, really. You, know, oh, yeah. you can put your feet up, yeah. you can go to a restaurant to restaurant, you know, and everyone yeah. serve on you, basically, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, pay the bill, no matter the cost. And, yeah, you know, and enjoy your life a lot more, I think, you know. Mm. So if I had a lot more money, I'd probably go to the IY again this week, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, or, you know, I just, I just know that I'd do more, you know, take off even further. You, you would do more. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, unfortunately I'm not rich, do you know what I mean? And I've got to sort of budget with my travelling. Of course, yeah. You know, and I think most, like, like most, most people, people... Like most people today. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and I think yeah. that's, you know, money at the end of the day, if we had a lot more money, we, you know, like this, shut, you know, like... The price of living's gone right up, in it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Electric's gone right up. Inflation is at an all-time high. And beyond, I think a lot of people are struggling to keep their cars at the moment, you know, because it's so expensive to have a car, you mm. know, all sorts, you know, mm. or even expensive to put petrol in your car. Yeah. So I think, like, if, like, let's say petrol was cheap right now, I reckon it'd be really noisy outside right now. Mm. People would be uh, 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 everywhere. You yeah. know, people love travelling. Yeah, true. It's true. Yeah. They love mm. travelling. But like I said, sometimes financial things can restrict people. But I think this is it, really. You know, people need, you know, the government, basically. They need to control the, control the people travelling a bit. Yeah. Because otherwise they'd go crazy out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, if, if say petrol was a penny a, a, a gallon, <laughs> Can you imagine how that? Do you know what I mean? You know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. That's yeah, true. Anyway, mate. Before we wrap it up and call it a night for this week's episode, all about um, traveling. Traveling. Oh, I nearly forgot that. He nearly forgot. Yeah, ne I've... Nearly caught him out. Yeah. Yeah. He recovered. I remembered. He, re he recovered nicely. Um, anyway, mate. Before we wrap it up, like I said, and call it a night for this week's episode, all about traveling. Um, any final words? Any closing yeah. statements? Yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you know it was interesting. Try to do some more travelling in the future. I'd say you know that's what I'm going to do. You know, yeah. because. I think that's what we're here for to travel. You know? Yeah, and the world is so like we live on we live on planet Earth. Like the, the you know there's so much out there to see and to experience and to uh, you know. It's, we're only it might, I, I personally only believe we're only here once you know and you've got to experience as much as you can experience while you're here until that until it's your time to transition you know wouldn't so, it be great if they had rockets today or something some nice like space shuttles yeah yeah that did make a noise yeah run on water i went to the mars you know and all these places you know? well you've got elon musk and all these different people who uh who are trying to uh, Essentially, that's the plan. 
they would like to essentially be... I, able... I think people should be happy with this planet. I personally, me too. I think we should be trying to fix what we've got going on here. Exactly. Um, but they, they, they want to go off to Mars and, and build these, you know, these cities and the domes and stuff so that they can breathe, you know, the, you know so that, you know, build it so that, they, you know, it's inhabited, be able to inhabit it, if you see what I mean, be able to, you know... The air won't be toxic if you see what I mean. It's well, kind I of think like, they, you know, like we were talking about the tunnel yeah. earlier on, yeah. I think they'd probably do this, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, Build yeah. a space shuttle and all this, you know, because they have done in yeah. the past, right? And build a nice bit of sort of like big bubble on that, do you know what I mean? For people who visit in the future, you know. Like I say, they yeah. come up with the idea of the tunnel and they did it. Yeah, exactly. And now they're coming up with that idea, I think they're going to do it. Mm. Even the man mm. does it, don't they? Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? They do it. Yeah. You know? And I think I think even not long ago too. Like I think I can't remember if it, I don't know if it's happened yet or if it was a few years ago because I really didn't keep up with it. Um, but I remember Richard Branson. He was doing like uh, he was just like he was doing some kind of like um, space exploration kind of thing, and people were paying. You know, he was obviously charging. You know, a few different people had to pay a certain amount of money. Um, to have a ticket to go on board this thing, to go up, to go up into space and to kind of you know see what's going on and to kind of you know uh, you know go on board that mission per se if you see what I mean. Um, so yeah, yeah. Anyway, mate, I think it's time to get out of here. Time hey. to travel to somewhere else. That's it. Time to make yeah. Try, time to make some more movements. For time sure. to say goodbye. That's it. <laughs> Travel somewhere else. That's it. Anyway, guys, hope you hope you guys have enjoyed this week's episode all about traveling. Um, we'll be back again next week, of course, with a brand new episode. Um, we are the Philosophy Podcast. Good night. One love. Peace out.